All optical ultrasound provides high performance imaging from within the body using components that are readily integrated into a wide range of very small medical devices. All optical ultrasound involves both the transmission and the reception of ultrasound using fiber optics. This concept is very novel when applied to a real medical device that can be used in clinical practice. The results of this study show that all optical ultrasound really does work in a clinically realistic environment. We took these devices into a preclinical model and showed that we were able to see the tissue just, in fact, better than we'd even hoped. In most minimally invasive procedures, we're reliant on imaging from outside the body. So to have direct imaging from the device itself is obviously a huge step forward. Ultrasound transmission takes place with the photoacoustic effect where pulse light is converted to ultrasound. And we also use an optical fiber to receive ultrasound waves that are reflected from tissue. We needed to develop new materials to make all optical ultrasound imaging possible. One of the materials which was developed together with our colleagues in chemistry is a composite material that comprises both silicone and an optical absorber called carbon nanotubes. This technology is very well suited to minimally invasive procedures where achieving high performance imaging within very small devices is of paramount importance. So in many minimally invasive procedures, we're reliant on imaging taken from outside the body. But here, for the first time, we're able to actually image directly from that device itself. And so we can, it's as if you're inside looking out and looking at what the devices inside the body are actually going to touch and do and, and the procedure you're performing directly. Transeptal puncture means passing a needle from the right side of the heart to the left side of the heart. And we do this to treat common disorders such as atrial fibrillation or mitral valve disease. We can integrate optical ultrasound into many different surgical uh, techniques and devices. And I really think there are some critical areas which will benefit from being able to get imaging, whereas before we've not been able to have anything. One, for example, will be in womb surgery, fetal surgery, which there are active projects going on in UCL. Another one will be other forms of heart surgery, which really do need better forms of imaging. I'm really looking forward to bringing this device into use in the clinic and to benefit my patients.